All right, so let's head back to base. Now first, let me double check something. Are these MK1s or MK2s? The miners, I mean. Let's double check this. Because I really forgot what I did there. Okay, these are MK3s. And these are... Yeah, these miners are MK2s. Let's make sure all of them are MK2s. Let's get this present. So we got MK2 and oh, there's an equipment shed there. So yeah, these are MK2s. That's why I built this here. So I can upgrade them. Okay, so, so let's go back. Sort this and can I build a smelting complex right now? That's another thing I wanted to do here. If I have the resources, let's build a smelting complex and then turn these iron ingots or iron ore into iron ingots and then send them down the line. Because it looks like there's room here. We're going to clear this area out and build foundations. I'm actually running low on biofuel. Okay, so let's build the complex over here. Oh, let's clear out this bit of leaves. Oh, I can't chainsaw this. All right, then. You just stay there. All right, so foundations. We don't have that much concrete, but we'll build whatever we can. Oh, damn it. Okay, so let's build. Wait. This is a pure node, right? At 240 per minute, so we can support eight smelters. A one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. Come on, give me the room. Okay. Okay, you be the smelter that's trying its best. That should work. Now let's build start building here. Okay, let's put back the mergers and splitters on our hot bar.
put you here. Let's make sure I can actually do something with this. Okay, there we go. This works. And then, build out the rest. And then, we'll put the mergers over here. Is this... Oops. Hang on. Need to turn this around. It's pointing in this direction. Guess you can point in this direction, and there you go. And then we'll connect this to this line as soon as everything is up and running. And we will, I guess we'll power it up over here. Or not. Oh, it's going through the machine. Dick. Connect it like so. I mean, it's going to do that anyway, so... I don't know why I'm complaining, but... Whatever. You know, when I have the power pole selected, it shows the outline of the buildings here, but when I have the power line selected, no outline. Look at this. I don't like that. Okay. And here we go. We'll connect it like this. Then after this, we will set all of these to smelt iron ingots. Then after this, we will move all of the iron ore onto this line over here so that it can smelt. Once that's done, we'll head back to the factory. Alright, 
This is ready to go. This line will now be bypassed. Oh, that ore will stop. No power, what the hell? Oops. Okay, are you smelting now? All of you are now smelting as soon as you get some ore. There we go. And here's the ingots. That'll work. And before we leave, gotta make sure everything is connected. is going in here. Need to see those iron ingots coming out. Right. How about you? And you? Finally you. You're not getting anything. Okay, you got one thing. All right, so this is ready. Before we go. Two and then. Stackable hypertube right here. Oh, we don't have iron plates. Okay. So, let's put our entrance here. We can't afford this. So, okay. I guess we will put our entrance over here. And connect it so we can head back to base. Can't even get up there. There we go. So there is our... Can't even see it. Can't see it from this angle. Yeah, there's our ingots. I can see it. I guess we can check from here. Before we head back to the factory, let's see this line. It's still iron ore. There's our iron ingots. Alright, so it starts over here. So I'll let... Our foundries go through all of this iron ore first, and then once the iron ingots reach, we'll switch over the recipe. Yeah, these are all MK3s, so I don't need to worry about that. Alright, let's head back. Okay, what was I doing now? Uh, oh yeah, computers. So we should have plenty of plastic to continue building computers, and we need the new milestone. Oh my god, this is just so convenient. Again, I really should have done this sooner. This is just like, oh my god. 
I can go from over here to over there to over there in a matter of seconds without really doing much work. All right, so there's the iron ore. We'll let that clear up first, and then we'll switch a recipe over. You know what? Let's dump all of our biomass first. And let's also check the MAM, see what recipes or what research we can get with quartz and sulfur. Because right now, all we're doing is stockpiling those resources. That's a lot of wood. Now let's burn all of these flower petals. What do we use the gifts for anyway? We still have to figure that out. Okay, gas mask, we need... We really need this. Pipeline engineering, well, I guess we need this. Monorail? Like, do I really want to set up a monorail? Like, I feel like at this point in the game and on this update, I won't really get that much use out of it, so maybe we can skip it. So... What is this resource? Fabric. So I need to somehow make fabric. Okay, let's get this milestone first. Start working on this. And let's turn these slugs into power shards. So we didn't really need to use the power shards. Let's just put this back in here. Let's get rid of the iron ore and the limestone. Oh, we have a hard drive. Scan the hard drive. And you know what? Let's build another MAM. What? The hard drive is being scanned over there, damn it. Uh, okay, so only one research at a time can happen. So we'll have to wait to see what we can use the quartz and sulfur for. But anyway. I don't think we need staters anymore. Let's just put the raw quartz in here. And put our presents in here. Like, I'll eventually figure out what they're used for. Okay, let's get some concrete. And we do need more pipes. Or how much copper sheets do we have? We have lots. Let's take all of them. And we still need to automate copper sheets going into the factory. That's something we still need to do. And where was I going with this? Oh, put this in here. Just so we can generate more computers. How much plastic do you have? You are out of plastic. So you know what, let's just go over here, let's get some more plastic. Just so we can continue the production of computers, because we're going to need them. Yeah, I wish there was a way to get rid of this thing, because it's in the way now. Or maybe there is a way. Someone's going to tell me how to get rid of them. take all of this plastic. We don't need that much rubber. Like, we are fully stocked on rubber. Whoa! Did a present fall from the sky on top of my factory? Well, anyway. 
Once we work on computers, we will need to work on the ingredients for the next tier of the space elevator. There's a present stuck up there. Alright, plastic goes in here, I think. Yeah. Boing. I didn't really boing, did I? And present is dropping down there. Okay, so cables, screws, and what else do we need? Plastic. So we will need more plastic over here. But you know what? Let's just go over here. Let's get another set of plastic. Because the truck is bringing lots and lots of plastic to us. So might as well. I'll just let the trucks deliver that. And we probably should check on our resources in the oil area there. Just need to work on the computers. We still need to finish the hyper tubes going to the coal generation area. And our sulfur and quartz. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we still need to do. Okay, we need steel pipes. Now, how is our power generation? Let's check this. How's our power production? Uh, what do we need to build this? We need computers, we need heavy modular frames, and rubber. Okay, let's just, just get some computers now. We have 27 computers. Now let's get some heavy modular frames from up top here. Okay, I wonder how much we have now. Yeah, there's the present right there. Or, not this one, actually. Let's climb up here. Well, let's just take one stack. And what else did we need? We needed rubber. Guess I'll take you too. And you know what? Let's take motors from here. One more stack of motors. And we also need... It's like I'm going shopping here. Okay. Is this done yet? Okay, we have iron ingots here now. So let's switch this over. Alternate steel ingots. Okay, I need to... Come on, get through there. Now, we need to get rid of this coal as well. Okay, how's this doing? Okay, this is working. It's working. So yeah, this is actually going great. And we need steel pipes. So let's just get this over here. Get rid of this. And we need to get rid of our coal. Put him in here. Or let's build another storage. 
and we will also put it in here. Oh, we need... We need iron plates, damn! Alright then, so let's go get some iron plates. What else do we need? It's like, the more I play this, the more I miss the features in Factorio. Like, every time I would go into my base in Factorio, it'd be like, I get all of my stuff that I need. And everything that I don't need gets removed. I like that about Factorio. Okay, so we need rubber. Well, let's just get some rubber over there. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Let's just get it from here. Just one stack is all we need. And then we'll put down fuel generators and... Wait, what else? I need some industrial fluid buffers as well. So, why not? One stack of this. And we'll get rid of these two iron... Get rid of the coal and we need iron rods. Get rid of this as well. Okay, let's get some iron rods first and then we'll go. As I was saying, I like the inventory management of Factorio. I like those worker drones. They make things so much easier. And I should play Factorio again. Uh, maybe in a while. First, I want to do this. Let's try to get as far as we can in this update. Like, I don't know what it is, how far we can get in this update. I think it's like tier 8, I believe. There's like one more project we can do for the space elevator and then it's like tier 7 and tier 8 is unlocked and then whatever the next project is for the space elevator that's not finished yet. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Like, I don't really follow the updates for this game. All I know is update 4 is going to be released in like 2021, sometime around there. There's no exact date though, but there is a year. Anyway, let's go and see our fuel stocks and our heavy oil. We have lots of fuel. How about oil? Hey, there's not much production here, so maybe this is full. Yeah. So let's get some more. More fuel generation means more heavy oil is burned through, which means more plastic and rubber production. So, let's get that. Like, the bottleneck is most likely these byproducts. Oh, I'm missing rubber. Okay, let's get these connected first. Let's put this to 7 and 8. Gonna make sure this is straight. Okay, that should do it. And then we'll put the cross junctions or junction crosses over here. Let's connect these up. And put the power lines over here. Or over here, I guess.
All right, so that's third 300 additional megawatts, I believe. I feel like we should just get rid of these and add the larger fluid buffers. First, let's see if we can build them. Okay, we can make like three of them. Okay, industrial fluid buffer right here. Food buffers for the big boys. All right, so let's connect this up. And this is being filled up quite quickly. 